Here's a demo on how to use the auto leveler uh, PCB to G code script for Eagle uh, that's available from the PCB G code Yahoo group. Lots of great resources there. Uh, lots of good guys to help you out if you need anything. Um, so the first thing you got to do is download the auto leveler version of the PCB G code file from uh, the group. Once you do that, you open up the zip file and make sure you copy all the files that are in the alpha folder to your user uh, ULP folder in, in your Eagle directory. Uh, mine's located in my documents under Eagle. Uh, once that's all copied there, uh, open up your board and in the command line type the run pcb-gcode-setup command. This will open up a window that uh, you can set up some options. It's important that you uh, run this. Um, make sure that the uh, probe and auto level is selected and then click on the other tabs uh, to make sure that all the other options are uh, as uh, set as you need. Um, I had to first click accept um, and then run it a second time and then click the accept and make the board otherwise I was getting a spindle variable error. Uh, once that was all set up it spit out my uh, spit out my G code that I was then able to switch over to the uh, CNC machine. So here we have the CNC machine. Uh, the red clip is an alligator clip going to one of the probes. Uh, probe input line on, on EMC and we've just started it up and it's now starting to uh, probe which basically means it's very slowly tracking this, the, the tool down to the board um, and when the electrical contact between the tool through the red alligator clip um, completes uh, the computer recognizes that and uh, registers how far down it is. This means that crude CNC machine like you may spot if I zoom out here and there the board doesn't have to be super perfectly level. The software will pick up a lot of mistakes. The circuit's completed from the red wire through the probe wire into the computer. The board itself is a little blade sticking out. There's a, actually a white wire alligator clip to that blade, which is grounded. So now it's done its um, probing. Uh, we fast forward a bit there to save some time. It says to remove the probe and let her go. So to remove the probe, there's a white clip. Uh, we just simply remove the uh, clip off the, off the tool and then uh, reach around behind, fire up, the, uh, fire up the, the tool and we go back into EMC and in pardon of my macro focus, it's a little blurry, but we unpause the job because it's kind of waited for us and uh, we're off to the races. Now my z-axis is painfully slow so we're screaming in at a whopping you know, couple inches a minute here, but uh, nevertheless now that it's actually uh, knows how level the board is or isn't, it's going to take that into consideration as it mills out the board. So here we are milling the board and uh, it's just a simple little um, power supply, 7805 uh, power supply board. Um, and it's ripping the traces around and you can't really tell what's going on at this point because it's so small, but if we look up at my z-axis at the gear there, uh, see how it drifts slowly back and forth like that? Oh, we're just repositioning, but watch it again. Uh, it it kind of creeps back and forth. This is this is the magic of the auto leveler now engaged. As the uh, as it's tracing around the circuit, um, it's constantly adjusting the uh, the z depth based on the data it received from probing. So that when we uh, look at how it's doing, um, the traces now are even and consistent. Whereas before, with you know homemade crude machines like what you're witnessing here, um, getting the tool to be exactly square to the board and, and having every trace um, the perfect width was um, was challenging at best. Um, the software is magically t fixing up a lot of uh, construction mistakes and opening up this hobby to a lot of other people. So um, the board, I've, you know, kind of zipped it forward a bit here. The board's just about done being milled. Um, this is sort of the final product. It, not pretty. I've got lots of run out and, and other slop that I need to take care of. But at least now the width of my traces are very consistent um, all, all across the circuit board. And this makes for much better, uh, much better building. So thanks for watching and happy prototyping.